So I'll take for the interested boys once again as always. So you might ask yourself why I have reduced those numerators to just uh, a zero of order polynomial you could say. Well the thing is all those are just with respect to x squared. So we can substitute this x squared by a lambda for example or a t or no not a t that wouldn't be too good or a u for example. So let's just say that x squared is nothing but u. Let's put it that way and this is going to make things way easier. Now we can just multiply both sides by this big denominator. We don't want it to be equal to zero. That means one is nothing but. So this and that is going to cancel out. So a times this chunk, a times t squared u plus a times 2t squared plus 1. And also we have to multiply those two together. So getting rid of this chunk and only multiplying those together. So plus b times u plus b. And you see zero of degree polynomial in u, first degree polynomial in u. So we have to get rid of all the terms that have this first degree polynomial stuff in there. So that means we have to set those two added together being equal to zero. So this just implies that a t squared times u plus b times u must be equal to zero. That's just a polynomial in u. So we are just going to consider those coefficients. Subtracting b on both sides leaves us with a times t squared being nothing but negative b or b being nothing but negative this term. That means we got rid of this and that. We can place our restrictions in here. So that means we have a times 2 times t squared plus 1 and b is nothing but negative this chunk, negative a times t squared. You can factor out the a on both terms, get rid of one of those t squared terms. That also means that 1 is now nothing but a times t squared plus 1. We can divide both sides by this right here. Never gonna be zero in no case. That also means that a is nothing but 1 over t squared plus 1. And you see we also know what our b is. b is nothing but negative this chunk. That also means that b is nothing but negative t squared over t squared plus 1. I thank you guys for watching.